On behalf of the Greater Fort Lauderdale Convention and Visitors Bureau, I would like to welcome you to our second live virtual video episode featuring family travel. If you joined us a few weeks back for our first webisode, Legacy Destinations, thank you for joining us again. If this is your first time participating with us, we are delighted you've joined us and appreciate, appreciate all of you sharing your valuable time with us today. My name is Tracy Vine, and I am the Senior VP of Global Sales at Visit Lauderdale. And I am joined by my talented team, Caitlin Etchevers. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> and Gabriel Martinez, who will be leading this presentation today. Now, I think if you were to ask this team what their favorite part of their job is, they would tell you it's the relationships. Perhaps you feel the same way. Traditionally, that would mean traveling to our key markets to meet and network with you in person, to share our love of our hometown, Greater Fort Lauderdale, and return, inspire you to promote Greater Fort Lauderdale to your clients. However, now with the current travel restrictions, the traveling part is on hold, but we can stay connected actually face-to-face -face, through this go-to webinar technology. And we strive for these live and on location webisodes to keep you enthused and informed about all that Greater Fort Lauderdale has to offer. So today's episode is focused on family travel. And we think more now than ever that families are planning to gather to reunite once we are in full on recovery mode, which we hope is soon. And what better place to come together enjoy the great outdoors, the indoors, the beach, and beyond the beach than here in Greater Fort Lauderdale. So you're going to be seeing for yourself today as we feature stay, play, and dine partners live and on location, including the Marriott Pompano Beach Resort and Spa, Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort, the Museum of Discovery and Science, Extreme Action Park, and the famous Mai Kai Restaurant. So with that, I'm going to turn this over to Gabriel, who will share some housekeeping notes before we jump into our main presentation. Again, thank you for joining us. Gabe? Thank you, Trace, and thank you everyone for joining us uh, this afternoon. Um, a little bit of information that will not be new to any of us anymore at this, uh, at this stage in 2020. So um, we will have um, uh, questions. We will address them at the end of the presentation. Um, I see uh, that sometimes you as an attendee may see a question panel and a chat panel. If you have both, make sure to use the question panel for specific questions you want to answer. We'll try to get to as many of them as possible at the end, so uh, hang in there. Of course, uh, at the end, we'll have some really cool prizes, so you want to stay all the way through the webinar. Um, then, because our partners, as you can see, are on location, we want you to enjoy their view. So if you can, um, you probably have your screen divided right now. So the, the top of your screen is either a ribbon with all of our faces or the face of the speaker. And then the, let's say two thirds of the, of the screen uh, is the presentation itself. There's a dividing, a thin dividing bar. If you click and drag on that bar and you click it up and down, the 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 um the sizes of those two things will change and that way for example if i want to see um the the track right behind elizabeth where you'll see uh, go-karts flying by then you want to drag it out and make your window big so you can you can have that view or maybe you want to see the ocean behind crystal so play uh, uh um around with that uh a little bit as we get started because you'll want to see we want you to see that in sort of uh, enjoy our destination a little bit from afar. Um, and then for our panelists, remember, we love to see your beautiful faces right now. Thank you so much for joining us. But if you're not speaking, mute yourself and mute your camera so that uh, the presentation will flow as uh, smoothly as possible. Okay. Thank you, everyone. And again, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Gabe. I appreciate it. And we're going to dive right in here if I can get this presentation to move on over. Um, but thank you for joining us. As Tracy mentioned, we are going to be showcasing a stay, play, and dine presentation here. We want you to walk away from this presentation with some specific recommendations for your clients. 
we want you to be able to sell Greater Fort Lauderdale with these specific ideas on where to stay, where to play, and where to eat. So today we'll be focusing on these partners. Of course, we do have many more. If you need them, if you need more ideas, please reach out to Gabriel or myself. But today we'll be focusing on these ones. And before um, we kind of dive right in, I do want to ask, let's get have a little bit of fun here. We're going to start with a poll. So uh, let's see. We're going to start here with, if everybody can engage here, please. Um, what is the main motivation for your current booking? If everybody can uh, vote away and we uh, can collect these responses and, and share those and, and keep everybody engaged, that would be great. All right, I can see it's collecting. Quick getaway, certainly popular right now. Let's see, a couple more, a little bit more time. I think we have stopped. Awesome. So the winner here, yep, a quick getaway is a clear winner there. 65%, 42% beach and sun. I love it. That's what we're here to talk about. I want a little bit more than that too. So why? Why do we have family travel here, right? You know, why are we talking about that today? Of course, it's great for quick getaways. And it's so important right now, as Tracy mentioned, you know, that um, connecting with, with family. And as the Family Travel Association says, they, um, they have this great new pledge. And it is, it's like a hashtag and a pledge, take family time. Kind of reminded me of the US Travel Association's project time off, right? Um, we all have these vacation times and what are we gonna do with it? We need to use it. And we also need to have, build these memorable family times. We all have family time right now in quarantine probably, but, but let's make it fun and memorable and let's go somewhere, okay? Let's put these books, put these vacations on the books and uh, get out there. You know, it's been said that family travel, of course, it reunites the family. It builds trust. It gets kids out of their comfort zone, and it certainly builds those builds those family memories. I remember myself some amazing trips taken with, with my family, even if it's just down the road or down to the next state over or cross country. Um, but that's what we're going to talk about today. So uh, let's hear. Let me get this presentation before we we hear from our partners. I just want to go over a few, you know, quick destination stuff. So our water culture, right? You, Tracy mentioned it again. We are so, we have this ingrained in ourselves here in Greater Fort Lauderdale, and I love this about us. We know from research and from surveys that people come here for the beach and sun and to be outside and to enjoy our water culture. And this, what I love about it is that it's not going to change, right? It's here to stay. We can have buildings being built. We can have hot and you know trendy stuff going on but we will never have this change in greater fort lauderdale people can come here to go fishing whether it's fresh water or ocean fishing going out on the kayaks um, doing all these great outdoor activities as a family okay so we have that here we also have our um venice of the americas right this is what we're known for i don't know if we've trademarked it before but it's definitely our nickname our official nickname so you can rent a yacht, you can go out on the waterways and the water taxi or the gondolas, all kinds of great activities to do out in our intercoastal waterways. And then of course, our parks. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, that's the next slide. Our beaches, 23 miles of beaches, right? They look like the Caribbean here. So many agents that I talk to say, you know what, maybe they would have sent their, their clients to the Caribbean, but this year domestic is king. And our Florida beaches are amazing. Come out and visit these 23 miles of blue wave beaches here in greater Fort Lauderdale. Families love it. Look at all the sand there to play, build sand castles uh, as a family. Do what you wanna do here um, in greater Fort Lauderdale and the Florida Everglades. This is what I meant to talk about our parks. You know, we're not featuring a partner from our parks today, but it certainly should be on your family itinerary. If you're coming, booking a family into Greater Fort Lauderdale, you should encourage them to go out and explore our county parks and our Florida Everglades, because this is something, it's unique. It's got the only ecosystem that is found in Florida Everglades, it's found here. There's no other place in the world that you're gonna find this specific ecosystem. And think about that, you know, you can travel 
to another country just to find something unique. But here it's in our own backyard and it's in our own nation's um, beautiful landscape here. So certainly come out and visit us um, in the Florida Everglades. And then I think that's it. Let's see, I believe I'm gonna pass it on down. The only bad thing is I cannot see what my next slide is with this thing here. Um, but we're gonna pass it on over to Fernando. Fernando, are you ready? Uh, we've got Fernando coming on to talk to us about Margaritaville. <laughs> hey friends, uh, thank Hello. you so much for that, Caitlin. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Sadly, we're not outside because the weather is not cooperating with us today, but that's not always the case here in paradise. Again, as Caitlin mentioned, my name is Fernando Nunez and I'm proud to be part of the sales team here in the Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort. For those of you that are not familiar with us, our resort's only five years young and located just a few miles and about 10 to 15 minutes away from the Hollywood Fort Lauderdale International Airport, making it very convenient for families to make it to our all-in-one all in destination. So what's great about coming to our resort, it's basically all contained. Everything that you need is here in paradise with 369 rooms and suites, a lot of which connect, making it very convenient for families. We also have three pools, eight different food and beverage outlets. We have a fun kids center. We also have a dock right across the street at one of our restaurants, five o'clock summer bar and grill that actually serves as a pickup and drop off location for the water taxi. As Caitlin was mentioning, it's on the benefit of the Americas and it makes it very convenient to travel up and down the rest of the destination. There's a lot to do once you're here. If the beach isn't enough for you, we also offer an incredible kids center where our counselors actually serve as one of the primary reasons why families come see us time and time again. It's actually a true story. There are people that have come here before a cruise, enjoyed it so much that they didn't even go on the cruise, they just stayed. <laughs> uh, people have that much fun. They've actually altered their vacation plans and, and stay with us. Our team members are a huge reason why it is that families continue to come see us time and time again. Because not only are the amenities located here at our resort, but our team members take the time to really get to know you and your family's needs and to custom tailor an experience made just for you. Also, Thank in you addition so to- much. <laughs> Go ahead. No, go ahead, Caitlin. No, no, continue on, Fernando. <laughs> no, I was just gonna mention, you know, you mentioned the water sports and how the culture here in Fort Lauderdale is all about the water. If any of you have ever wanted to surf or maybe used to where you come from, you could do that without being out in the ocean. If any of you have ever heard of a flow rider, and I'm not talking about the musician, <laughs> it's spelled differently, <laughs> it's flow rider. Um, we have one of those located here, and for those of you who don't know, it's actually a surfing simulator. Our I family thought that's where we were going to be. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. you I thought that's you where know, we were going to be doing that live today. Yeah, I was dying to, but that got declined quickly. <laughs> so something about the laptop not being, you know, stable in that environment. <laughs> but located right across the beach, right in front of Landshark Bar and Grill is our flow rider. And that is something that our families love enjoying because you get to practice or learn different types of surfing with our flow guards, as we call them. And, uh, you do it in the comfort and safety of that. So it's, it's really fun to do. In addition to that, across the street, we could also um, let you rent kayaks and paddle boards to explore the mangroves right across the street off the intercoastal and enjoy that Venice of the Americas that Caitlin was talking about. So uh, yeah, there is plenty to do. And also throughout the day, our counselors prepare lots of activities for kids of all ages and families to do on and off the beach. Awesome. Fernando, now, do you have, um... Can you offer connecting rooms if you have families? You can, okay. We can, so of the 369 rooms and suites, approximately 300 of those units are guest rooms, standard guest rooms. And it's pretty much a 50-50 split of king bedded rooms and double queen rooms. Okay. And most of those connect. Awesome, that's great, great for families. Very good. Yep. Now, and I think I've heard that you also have like an adult only pool for those that don't want to be near children, but you also have a great kid area for pools, right? Exactly. So we do have three pools. Uh, we have our standard resort pool, which is Lone Palm Pool, located on the ground level of the resort. The Landshark Pool is the more family-friendly pool 
with water slides, waterfalls, and a zero entry line for your very little ones so they could play in the water safely. And then on the 11th floor, on license to chill, as we call it, we do have an adult only pool where you must be 21 and over to access the deck. And mm. it's great for those adults that probably want to get away for some serenity away from the rest of the resort and enjoy that license to chill that we talk about. So I could drop my kids off in the kids club and then go up to the adult serenity pool. That's right? what I'm <laughs> talking about, Kayla. That's what I'm talking about. That's a vacation. That's right. You have a yeah. decade of staycation local rates right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no, that's an option. <laughs> absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> that's a very popular thing for families to do. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, Fernando. Awesome. Anything else you want to add? You know, we'll take questions at the end for you, but anything else you um, want to add? No, not right now. You know, and that, as you can see by the, uh, the great branded mask that I'm wearing right now, <laughs> you know, we are taking those protocols to keep everyone safe and healthy uh, while they're here. So, you know, it's got, when I'm you looking, come to the resort right now, it actually says margaritaville flip it's got little yep uh -huh. little flip-flops everywhere and what's funny is that we use the flip-flop and there's a giant one in the lobby right now there's flip-flop markers on the floor throughout the resort nowadays to show you okay. the, the, the distancing so we're having fun with it as well <laughs> that's fun i love it flip-flop distant yes. markers very good yep. well thank you so much fernando i appreciate the insider's view you're in that Cabana, right in the lobby, you said? Yes, yes. I'm in, uh, there's three indoor cabanas in our lobby, and mm -hmm. I am inside one of them. So obviously, we still keep the tropical, tropical vibe going. And I'm gonna yeah. kind of turn this a little bit and see if I could show you what yeah, some of the lobby looks like. Now, those are, those yeah. are, um, what's hanging from the ceiling, right? Remind me. That right. is actually our margarita glass chandelier. It is made uh -huh. up of over 180 different margarita glasses. Very good. Yeah, and then uh, down in the, uh, yeah, it. just over 180. And just beyond that, it's, it's covered by that column, but our giant flip flop is over there in that distance. <laughs> so, Very good. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. So, well, thank you so much, Florida. Fernando. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you so much I for being with us. All right, All right, stay um, along just in case we have some questions. And now we're going to head up north a little bit and we are going to look for. My friend Meredith, she's the Deputy Director of Strategic Initiatives at the Museum of Discovery and Science. All right, take it away, Meredith. Thank you so much, Caitlin. I want to thank Tracy and the team for including us today in uh, uh, the family edition of our virtual tour of Fort Lauderdale. We are grateful to always be included in, in uh, these different programs. And we know that, of course, the beach is certainly a sought after destination here in Fort Lauderdale, but we here at the Museum of Discovery and Science are excited to be able to provide you a little bit of a break from the beach when you're here visiting um, and to explore and enjoy some family time uh, in a little different way uh, than uh, other aspects of Fort Lauderdale. Uh, the museum here has been uh, in downtown for a number of years since the mid 70s and uh, if you're not familiar with with mods, uh, we are a little bit children's museum, uh, a little bit zoo and a lot hands on science. Uh, here at mods we have uh, over 150,000 square feet of exhibitry to be able to explore together as a family. Um, we have uh, programming and supporting exhibitry from uh, early childhood learners all the way through high school and beyond. We like to say that we support informal lifelong learning here at MODS and, uh, you know, we hope to uh, use your time here to connect you to inspiring science. That is our mission and purpose. And in addition to our um, indoor exhibitry, we have a really large science park uh, that uh, allows you to do enjoy the fresh outdoors, but of course, continue to your museum uh, exhibit experience uh, here. And uh, we have a lot of uh, resident animal ambassadors that represent our South Florida native wildlife here for you to get to know more up close and personal everything from the North American river otter uh, that has a home here at the museum. A lot of people uh, don't expect to see river otters here in Florida, but uh, they are right in our own backyard in the Everglades. So uh, we would welcome you to, to come and, and have a up close and personal meet and greet or a special behind the scenes tour here with the many animal ambassadors that call MODS home. Um, and in, in addition to that, we also have uh, a giant screen IMAX theater with both 
laser and 70 millimeter film capability. Uh, we are the only South uh, Florida location with um, a six story screen. And so we would welcome you to add on an IMAX adventure to your time here at MODS. Uh, we have a library of amazing, amazing documentaries that take you to far places of the earth that you never even knew existed. Uh, and we, of course, have uh, the Hollywood films that everybody looks forward to, and it's certainly the Disney classics that are a great way to be able to spend time together as a family. Uh, so that's just a little bit about us. Um, in addition to uh, the self-exploration, uh, we like to really fill our calendar, particularly over the summer and school holidays, uh, with a lot of additional programming uh, that you can experience here on the museum floor, be it science shows or um, uh, animal photo ops. So there's always something new um, and exciting here happening at MODS. We have public programs running year round and uh, to be able to uh, become more familiar with what those programs are, uh, you can simply visit our website at MODS, which is MODS.org and and really get a feel for what's coming up in our calendar and uh, how you can better plan your visit to be able to incorporate some of those additional programs that you might wanna participate in. And if you're not traveling right now, uh, there still are quite a few ways that you can connect with MODS uh, and we would really invite you to do so. We have been really focusing on building up our uh, YouTube library and uh, we have there a number of science shows and demonstrations, uh, animal encounters, um, uh, STEM demos uh, for you to be able to take advantage of as a family. And if you wanted to get a sneak peek for um, a, a little bit of sneak peek of the animals that call mods home, uh, we did just kick off a monthly creature feature that we're doing virtually. And it's a great way to kind of gather together as a family live here at mods and be able to meet one of our zookeepers and animals up close and ask questions about uh, what they eat and where they live and what their life is like here in South Florida. So uh, again, to our sprint at the CVB, thank you so, so much for including us. And um, we're really excited to be part of your future visit here to South Florida. Thank you so much, Meredith. That was great. You know, I had some questions for you, but I think you answered them all. Uh, what I took away, creature feature, I love it. And the mini, what it, animal ambassadors, so cute. I love it. And you can see here on the, the picture, the, the river otters, very fun. And you've got lots of shark kind of fun activities, a great photo shoot, photo op right behind you, right? What Absolutely. were you saying? This is our, you, our resident Megalodon. This awesome. is... Uh, a very, very popular photo, photo, photo location here at MODS. Yes, I've seen it. it. comes up on the feed all the time. Very fun. And now, do you still have the Everglades, like the airboat simulator there? We do. Uh, if you're not uh, as, you know, as adventurous uh, or prefer to not break a sweat or be bit by a mosquito, we do offer a virtual Everglades airboat ride here at the museum. And our intention with any of those types of things is to be able to expose our visitors and our local community to the things that you would be able to find in your own backyard that you just might not be familiar with. I love it. Yes, you know, I once uh, hosted a fam trip for travel advisors into the destination and we had some some not so usual weather. We had some a lot of rain on us for that horrible day that it was there and it wasn't it turned out wonderful because we went to visit you. We were supposed to go out to the Everglades and we came to you for a little simulator and it, it was very fun. So you saved the day and I think that's a great option too, right? So visitors, like you said, they wanna take a, a break from the beach um, or you know, if it's, they want some AC or if it's a rainy day, you can come on out and still explore the destination from your museum. Right? Absolutely. Awesome, well, thank you so much, Meredith. I love it, thanks for your time. Uh, now we are going to, yeah, thank you. We're gonna go um, down the road. We, uh, so after your visit to the Museum of Discovery and Science, you could head down to Dania Beach. And this is where Jackson's, the famous uh, Jackson's ice cream parlor um, exists. They have been open since 1956. They couldn't join us today, but I'm gonna talk to you, tell you a little bit about them. So like I said, 1956, they are considered a landmark in Dania Beach. Um, they've been hosted, they've been featured on all kinds of different media uh, nationwide. So you might've heard of them before. Uh, they feature the 
you can see in the picture here, um, vintage license plates from from um, ceiling to, to floor there. And they also are very well known. They've been voted for the best scoops in America. And um, what is their famous ice cream? I'm drawing a bank here, but I think it was called, yes, the Cherry Garden Chip. It's their own ice cream, Cherry Garden Chip. That's one of their, their um, most famous ice creams. And then also check out their kitchen sink. So definitely write that down for your clients, kitchen sink, because that is good for four people. Okay. Or more, I would say, you know, it depends on how big your appetite is uh, for dessert there, but it's huge. And it's definitely going to be uh, make your memory book or your Instagram feed, whatever, whatever you like, but come on down to Jackson's after you visit the Museum of Discovery and Science. It's close to Margaritaville as well, all in that area. And you can enjoy uh, a meal and some sweet treats there at Jackson's. I think the kids will enjoy that. So next, um, we're going to do our second poll. We're going to break this up a little bit. We have our next poll here. I'm going to ask you here is what are you selling the most of right now? So in this moment, we're hoping you're selling, even if it's just a couple of bookings, what are you, oh, did it come out? Did I launch it? Let's see. I think I closed it. Let's see. Share. Oh, no. I don't think it worked today. Gabe. Gabe is my tech. I think I uh, <laughs> Gabe's hey, like, I can't help you, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I think that it 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 ran and closed, like maybe they felt your finger too close, but oh. but it, folks, if you if you don't mind, put it all up on the chat and I'll 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 kinda I'll gauge it that way. How about that? Put I it love on the, it. See? On the chat. Yeah. And by the way, Caitlin, if you just so the folks know. Uh, across the country, tell your clients when you go to Jackson's that the normal ice cream cone has two scoops of ice cream. Okay. Uh -huh. However, each scoop is a quarter pound of ice cream. Oh, so, so look do at the that. Math. A quarter anyway, pound tell me in the chat and, and we'll gauge it that way. Okay. So I see that you can see it. We just, I, I probably close it out too quick. So domestic beach vacations, state and national parks. Right. Future all cruise, inclusive. Future all cruise. inclusive. Do we have anybody writing anything in there? Yep. Let's see. I see. Uh, let's see. Let me. Um, future cruise. Mm hmm. Future cruise, cruise. Future cruise. All inclusive. Domestic beach vacations. Thank you for that. Great. Uh, deals. Some national parks. Somebody awesome. selling quarter pound of ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all inclusive, all inclusive okay. and future cruises. Cruises it seems cruise seems to be cruise. coming up a lot. Yeah, so that's a good thing. We're going to be having a pre and post cruise um, episode later down the season. All right. So next, um, moving on with this, I know we're going to take up all the time here. Next up, we have my colleague Lydia. She is the tourism manager with the city of Pompano Beach, known for their sun, fun, and adventure. And let's see, Lydia, do we have Lydia's camera on? Yes. Yes, we have you there. I lost my camera, so. Awesome, Lydia, take it away. Tell us a little bit about Pompano Beach. But I can't see the screen. Oh no, let's see. I wonder. Here we are. There we go, hi Lydia. Hey, Caitlin, thank you for having the city on. And hello, everyone. Well, Pompano Beach is located just 10 minutes up the road from Fort Lauderdale. It's much quieter, great for family vacations, yet so close from the hustle and the bustle of Fort Lauderdale. The beach is our biggest natural asset. We keep it in pristine condition with brand new colorful lifeguard stations. All are marked with various sea animals in large numbers. So easy for the kiddos to remember, so in case they walk off, they can return quickly. We have an interactive water fountain for the little ones by the beach, a children's playground, picnic tables, walking paths, an adult gym facing the ocean, and bike rentals. The great, great lawn hosts music under the stars and movies under the stars in normal conditions. However, it is great just to hang out right now. There is all types of water sports equipment on the beach for rent, kayaks, paddle boards, banana boats, and much more. 
as well as chaise lounges and umbrellas just for relaxing. The fishing village is almost finished and Alvin's a beach store with everything for beach shopping from water wings, bathing suits to lotions, sunglasses to surfboards. They have it all, all just opened. There are a wide variety of eateries. The beach house and the oceanic are very popular. The Lucky Fish that just opened is great for come as you are outdoor casual dining under tiki huts with special children's menus. Coming soon are the burger pie, an ice cream parlor and a pizza shop. A brand new Hilton, which, we, which will be double flagged as true by Hilton and home to suites is well under construction and should be finished by year end. It's a perfect location right at the foot of the village. It's great for families. The Fisher Family Pier is brand new, featuring ceramic art, benches, fishing stations, Wi-Fi, sails to provide shade and relaxation. And the east end of the pier is shaped like the head of the Pompano fish, which swims abundantly in all our waters. Pompano Beach is also well known for scuba diving. 18 wrecks are just off our shores, including two ships, the Lady Luck and the Okinawa, about one mile east of our pier. Both recently were sunk by the city to create artificial reefs, which by the way, was a very cool experience to watch. And you can view it in real time on shipwreckpark.com. And the best part is that in Pompano, when you get on a fishing boat, you could be scuba diving within half an hour. And in the last few months, we've seen so many youngsters getting certified and it's all a new adventure for them. And of course, practice social distancing. Fishing is very popular as well. And there are great family rates available now. And we are also the home of many world-class fishing tournaments. Awesome. There are numerous parks around the city for social distancing with community park hosting many events and festivals, social distancing, especially events for little ones, as well as an Olympic sized pool, ballpark, tennis, and more. For the golf enthusiasts, both young and old, the two city golf courses are located just a mile from the beach. Pompano Beach has a wide variety of accommodations from superior small lodgings, cute studios, a variety of timeshares, that include hotel room blocks, well-known flag hotels like the Residence Inn and our very popular and fabulous Marriott Resort and Spa that Crystal will talk about. Thank you so much, Lydia. Awesome. And I love that new pier that you have there. It, it's fabulous. And it's named after our previous uh, mayor whose family were founding fa uh, family um, they were founders of Pompano Beach. Oh, wonderful. And it's in it's in the shape of a Pompano fish, right? The, the end of it, the head of the pier is the shape of a Pompano fish, which fit awesome. in our waters. And by the way, it's a really good tasting white fish for those of you that haven't tasted it. Very good. Delicious. Thank you so much, Lydia. I can't wait to go try out. L Lucky Fish is the new restaurant you said? Yeah, and it's fabulous. You'll have to come. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Now we're going to zoom on down, just down the road to the hotel that um, Lydia was mentioning. We've got Crystal at the Pompano Beach Resort and Spa. Hi, Crystal. Hi. All right, I'm going to turn off my camera everyone. so you can take it away. Hey, Crystal. Awesome. Well, good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for your time. And thank you for joining us on this incredible virtual journey through the greater Fort Lauderdale. Um, Miss Lydia has already told you so much about the fabulous and charming city of Pompano Beach. And you could even see our hotel in her first picture, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the beautiful wide open spaces, pristine beaches and serene, serene and relaxing uh, environment that we have to offer. So our beautiful property um, was built in 2013. And at our location, as was mentioned before, it's just really easy to get to just a few minutes away from Fort Lauderdale. So we're a very popular location for families as a pre or post cruise option. And whether you're traveling by car, by air, um, 
it's it's really nice location, uh, and we find a lot it, a lot of families enjoy it. So moving on a little bit to speak more about our property, what I love about it, especially for families, is our direct oceanfront location. As you can see in the photos, as you can see behind me, I'm sitting in one of our beautiful oceanfront rooms, and that is the balcony and the ocean and the sand just a few steps away. Um, it's uh, also what's great about our property as being a full service resort and spa, you'll have everything that you need on site at an incredible var value. So compared to other full service properties in the area, uh, check out Pompano Beach because you'll be pleasantly surprised of uh, the great rates and experiences that we provide. We have a variety of king and double queen guest rooms. Most of them, uh, it's a 50-50 split between. We also have larger suites available and plenty of connecting rooms, which we can arrange and confirm prior to arrival. So very flexible and, and very popular for especially the larger families uh, when they're traveling. And then moving on to a little bit more about uh, the wide open spaces, uh, it's really, trending right now and uh, when you're here it's very relaxed it's not a pretentious area or property you see lots of families um, running around and i like to call it you know welcome to your beach house our we also have a direct oceanfront fitness center so at every turn you'll be enjoying our beautiful views Plenty of resort activities for families to enjoy with our two uh, pools, an outdoor whirlpool. We have everything you need, like I mentioned before, uh, in terms of on-site water sport rentals. Right behind me, you can kind of see the aqua-colored umbrella uh, with beach umbrellas, cabinets, chairs, all available for families and everyone visiting with us as well as fun beach volleyball, on-site yoga. And what's also very popular, especially for the kiddos, uh, is the Funky Fish Ocean Camp. So that is a, a world-renowned uh, camp for kids ages from four to 17. And they can spend the day learning about the ocean, the animals, the environment, especially the popular uh, sea turtles. They're in sea turtle season right now. And it'll give adults a chance to take a break, drop them off, uh, maybe go to the spa, maybe relax by the pool, head to the, ba the bar, or just enjoy some peace and quiet and one-on-one -on -one adult time. So that's a really fun thing for kids to do when they're here. And the name again is Funky Fish. We also have an on-site uh, spa. So you can be pampered from head to toe, as well as some bicycle rentals and a cute little map to go and visit different uh, areas and activities, attractions, and the beautiful brand new Pompano Beach Pier is actually just a few steps in that direction. So it's something that you can easily get to that's walkable from our property. And also very exciting is the Pompano Beach Water Taxi. So again, being in the destination, having that um, Venice of America, you can explore the destination even more um, by water. And that's something that you can also do by walking, very easy to get to um, right out of our front door. Also on site, we do have a variety of different restaurants with indoor and outdoor seating, uh, Starbucks, and also food and beverage service. You're able to lounge by the pool or lounge right out there on the beach and order your pina coladas um, and snacks and have it brought out to you. So really convenient, really relaxing. You don't have to leave property if you don't want to, but as you're seeing on this journey today, there's plenty to do that's nearby and in our beautiful destination. Awesome, thank you so much, Chris, I appreciate it. Now, and you also have a lighthouse nearby, right? We absolutely do and uh, the Hillsboro Lighthouse, it's just in the other direction. Like, I don't know if my left or and left and right is correct. Oh 
<laughs> but it's this way. <laughs> uh, and actually, if you stand on the balcony and look outside, you can see it. I did a test run of it, and you can't really see it uh, on the screen. So I brought this handy uh -huh. dandy flyer with me. So just imagine yourself lounging on the balcony, and you can see the lighthouse right there. And it's pretty cool. It's still functioning. You can see the light going at night, and they do tours. So it's very um, good. Really historical little piece of of our town. That's great. Thank you so much, Crystal. Very helpful. I love it. It looks like a nice beach day out there. A little bit overcast, but still lovely. I'm sure by your two pools there. Oh, you got a large balcony there. Oh Very yeah. Nice. Lots of I, space. I spared no expense for this experience. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Crystal. Appreciate it. Stay around in case we have any questions for you later on when we finish this. And now we are going to head on down the road a little bit to visit our friend Elizabeth. And she is located today at the very fun Extreme Action Park. I love it. Take it away, Hi. Elizabeth. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, Caitlin. So thank you so much for having us on. We are so excited to be included in this roundup of awesome attractions and family fun to be had here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, as you can see, I'm in front of our go-kart track, which is our most popular attraction, but we have so much more. Um, Extreme Action Park is a very large venue. We're the largest in the state of Florida for sure, possibly even the East Coast. Um, we have over 200,000 square feet all indoors attractions, so rain or shine, it's always a good time inside Extreme. Um, we have, uh, we have uh, basically open ceiling, open floor spaces. Um, we also were named recently as FEC of the year uh, for nationwide, so it's a, it's a great place, and here's why. We have our go-kart tracks, which hopefully soon they're gonna be firing up and running some go-karts so you guys can see. Um, we have three different types of go-karts. We actually have for cadets, which are kids eight years old and up, as long as our pro carts, which is our most popular cart, and our super carts, which are the ones everyone wants to drive because they go super fast, up to 65 miles per hour on our straightaways. So those are pretty awesome. Uh, then our next most popular attraction is our roller skating. As you can see in the slide here, uh, very popular with all ages. Um, we have wooden roller rink, um, and very cool lights and, and mirror balls and globes and we do themed nights and events. But what's really cool about our, our roller rink is it also doubles as an event space. So we'll run a roller derby competition or have an MMA bout right where they set up a cage right in the middle of the rink. It's a really cool space. Over 16,000 square feet alone just in that space. Um, our next most popular attraction is our arcade game room. Um, it connects, oh, there they go. See the cards? There they go. So the arcade game room connects um, all of the attractions together. It runs the whole stance of the park. Um, we, have, we have games tucked in every corner, um, but also well spaced out. And uh, some popular ones, like a big extreme crane where people win these giant you know, stuffed animals, um, we have Halo, all the popular titles, everything a kid and adult could want to play. Um, over the top of the arcade is our ropes course adventure. We have a high ropes course, um, completely indoors. So you're actually watching your friends or family up on the ropes course from the ground level and vice versa, they can see you below. So it's really very cool experience for them. It has over 25 platforms and 50 obstacles to try from advanced beginner levels, really cool experience for all ages. Uh, that only has a small height requirement to get up to the ropes. And of course, don't be afraid of height. Um, our next uh, big attraction is our laser tag arena. As you can see also in our slide here, um, the laser tag is over 5,000 square foot, glow in the dark arena, all sorts of hidden corners to play with friends and family. Um, it is, uh, what's cool about it is the latest technology. So we have what's called animated targets. So not only do you get to play against each other as teams, but you can also play co-op where you collectively go after a, a main target. Um, hopefully this October, we're gonna be featuring our zombie laser tag game too, which is a lot of fun. 
Um, beyond that, wait, there's more. We have our XD Dark Ride Theater, which is an eight person seated theater. It's a full 70 interactive experience. Uh, you have 3D glasses and a shooting device and you're chasing zombies through the woods. Um, the wind blows, the seats move, it's really a cool experience. Uh, we also have virtual reality and we have two types of virtual reality. We have virtual reality games where um, you can also play single player, co-op or multiplayer. Um, again, people of all ages can go in and experience the virtual reality world. And then we have virtual reality escape rooms where you can experience an escape room, but now in a whole new space, you can solve mysteries and puzzles underwater with sharks swimming up ahead, or you can be in outer space and meteors are flying towards you as you're trying to solve the pattern to escape the room. They're amazing. And then we have real escape rooms, real ones that you go in and there's a room and you're locked in and you have to get out. Um, they're, so, they're so much fun, the, uh, the escape rooms. They, um, we have a cabin theme, we have a diner, like a 50s diner theme, and we also have a bunker where you're blindfolded before you go in. Caitlin knows because she's, she's done it. <laughs> They're I pretty have. awesome. Um, we also back have some memories. <laughs> yeah, good time. We also have uh, bowling, uh, recreational bowling. So you can have small groups come out and share the lane, up to six players on the lane and go bowling. Um, but we also have a bar, full liquor sports bar, very important, again, all age fun. Cafe, ice cream, that's all ages, of course. Um, so <laughs> all this and more, of course, you can find on our website. I'm really glad they're running the go-kart so you can see them in action. Uh, but basically, Extreme Action Park, we have something fun for everyone, all under one awesome. roof, everything you need, rain, shine, crazy heat, like we have here in South Florida. It all <laughs> happens indoors, so it's, uh, it's really a fun place and a safe place and a clean place. We've worked really hard to maintain, as you can see, even while you're playing, they're wearing masks. We're keeping up with our safety protocols in this time and families are coming out and having a wonderful time. That's great. I'd love to hear that, Elizabeth. Thank you. Now, are you open 365 days a year or are you closed on certain days? We're open I mean, in like a normal world. <laughs> normal world, we're open every day, every okay. day. Uh huh. And right now, you know, our, like for Christmas and things like that, if you yeah. have people planning some family vacations and stuff like that. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Open every day. Right now, our hours are are changing as right. we go through our changes. But right now, every day it's two to ten, which works out okay. well. Um, yeah. It offers some private experiences we're offering now during the day too. Seeing that we don't open the park till two, it mm -hmm. allows us to do some VIP parties. For those that are a little bit more, you know, concerned about traveling out, we can actually offer the park to them privately during the day. So great, yeah, awesome, nice, very good to know. Yeah, it was a nice solution for uh, the current situation. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Elizabeth. I appreciate it. Stay yeah. around. We might have some questions for you. Okay. And uh, next up, thank you. We are going to go down the road. So after you visit um, Extreme Action Park, you can finish your day off at Mai Kai. We have my friend Pia here on location at the famous Mai Kai. What do you have to say with us today? Oh, we got to turn your audio on. Let me turn your, can you turn your audio on, Pia? Let's see. Try it one more time. There we go. I now, think you're good. Yeah, I think Bye. we were both muting me. Well, first of all, thank you for having us. Uh, and I have to say to all, everyone that, that did the presentations before me, I'm, I'm quite amazed. I've learned a lot <laughs> listening in here. It's been quite, quite eventful. So aloha and welcome to the Mai Kai restaurant. Uh, my name is Pia Dahlquist and I'm the public relations director here. The Mai Kai was created by two brothers from Chicago, Jack and Bob Thornton. Their dream was always to have a tiki palace, a tiki restaurant. They grew up with the uh, uh, Trader Vic's and they were just amazed. And as kids, they were just wanting to have something similar. 
So they settled on Fort Lauderdale and they settled on this area uh, that was in the city of Fort Lauderdale, but quite far outside. Uh, it was on a dark road that was called Federal Highway, US 1. Uh, and people thought when they built this place that they were absolutely nuts. Why build a restaurant so far away from the city? Well, that was 1956. This restaurant opened on December 28th, and I'm told we are now in, in a very, very commercial area of Fort Lauderdale, but I was told that when you came here to the Maikai and if you stood on the roof, you could see the ocean. They were only farmland around here, so so much had happened here. But so much had happened at the Maikai. First of all, during the first year, this is now 1956, we shared that year with uh, Jackson's ice cream. I thought that was pretty cool. The first year, this restaurant grossed $1 million. And that was unheard of in that time. Actually, it's probably one of the first restaurants ever to do so in the USA. In 2014, the Maikai was added to the National Register of Historic Places. And we felt that was very important to uh, maintain this kind of uh, structure, a tiki palace, if you, you so would say, uh, for the generations to come. And talking about generations, the Maikai is owned by the same family, and we have now generation two and three working here. So that is very, very cool. We have a large staff normally, as situations are now. It's now, of course, um, not always, uh, I mean, not everyone is back here, but a lot of people are back here working. Normally, we have, we have a cast of about 150 people. Many people have worked here a long time, and, and I'm proud to say that next month in September marks my 30th anniversary with the Mai Tai. And I, I think it says a lot about a place. We are a very big, happy family here. Well, when you arrive at the Mai Tai, uh, you instantly feel like you are a uh, in the South Pacific, you enter the islands. Uh, uh, there are artifacts, there, there is such an incredible atmosphere. Our logo is, or slogan, spend the day on the beach and the night in the South Seas. That's exactly how it is here. We boost eight dining rooms, the Molokai bar, a gift shop, and a tropical garden filled with waterfalls, lush tropical foliage, tiki torches, and giant tiki sculptures. Well, you can see one right behind me. The total capacity of the Maikai is 600 seas. People can come here, guests can come here to choose to have dinner and the show, or dinner only. We also offer dining outside in the gardens, very popular at this time. I also should mention that not too many years ago, our, our ladies' bathroom here, there are actually people coming here just for the bathroom. It was voted one of the 10 most beautiful bathrooms in the United States. But what's most important probably is that the Maikai is home of the largest running, Poly longest running Polynesian show in the entire United States, and that includes Hawaii. The Maikai Islander Review features Polynesian music, dance, costume, and artifact. Members of the troupe or, or dancers represents the islands also that make up the authentic, uh, the, make up the South Pacific, and that includes Hawaii, Tahiti, Samoa, and New Zealand. A new show debuts every year in January, and it's directed and choreographed by native Tahitian Mireille Thornton, and she is also our owner. The first show on Sunday, though, is dedicated to all kids in the audience. During the show, we invite all kids to come up on stage to learn a few steps. Our popular Tamari Kids Show with, children dan with children's dancers debuted in 1989 and is, is featured on Sundays from mid-June through mid-November. So we have all these kids that rehearse from the spring throughout the early summer and they perform on stage with the adults in their own costumes, have their own routines, every Sunday. We are not able to do it this year, but we'll resume next year. This very, very popular Tamari Kids Show 
is uh, it starts in mid June and goes through mid November. Uh, our kids menu and kids here are regarded two to twelve years of age is available every night and it comes with a lay. There are no many of these, and it comes with a drink. And this is the most popular drink, a drink and a pineapple. And the kids can bring that home and get a refill. What's in the drink? What's in the pineapple? Pineapple juice. Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Mai Tai was voted the, the most kid-friendly restaurant by, by South Florida Parenting Magazine. We have uh, received many awards. Uh, every night, though, I want to talk about, a little bit more about the show itself. Every night during our shows, we recognize everyone in the audience that is celebrating a birthday or anniversary. So please make sure to let us know if you have a client that is doing just so. Uh, not this year, but we're hoping to come back to it uh, next year or as soon as possible. We also bring someone up on stage during the show, kind of a little surprise uh, to, to dance with one of our dancers. It's called the Toto. It's a lot of fun to just bring someone up with ha that has a birthday or anniversary for, for a, a good laugh. Our show lasts 45 to 50 minutes and uh, uh, we serve dinner an hour and a half before so the whole experience is about three hours and afterwards we encouraged everyone to take a stroll in our beautiful beautiful gardens and visit our gift show as well uh, i'm sitting in the molokai bar because it was raining when i or thundering when i uh, started uh, i had wanted to be out in the in the garden but i'm sitting in the molokai bar and and Children are welcome in here. They can just not sit by the bar, but at the, tab uh, at the table nearby. Here, we, we, we call this uh, Molokai bar, or we say the bar where every day is a holiday. And we have ah. some customers that says, and every night is a honeymoon. So, <laughs> <laughs> But it is uh, designed as a turn of the century seaport saloon. Uh, and we feature 57 tropical drinks on our menu. We are famous for our rums. Uh, the Mai Kai boosts 118 different rums. And if you look at our website, you can see our sipping rums. But our, our uh, uh, tropical drink menu uh, has uh, mild uh, or non-alcoholic, mild, medium, and strong drinks. Very, wow. very popular, yeah. Uh, here, uh, you, when you sit in this bar, uh, water is cascading over the windows. You're served by beautiful saron clad maidens. Only women works in this bar. <laughs> and uh, it's a very friendly and uh, uh, intimate atmosphere. Uh, right now, the Maika is open Wednesday through Sunday. We have nightly shows um, here in the Molokai bar. Uh, we feature happy hour every day from opening to 7 p.m. with 50% off appetizers and drinks. And uh, in the handout, you will see the different uh, incentive programs that we offer, and there are several. Uh, we do a lot of weddings at the Maikai, so we, uh, if you have someone that is coming here to get, get married, uh, there are wedding uh, packages available as well. Um, I'd like to welcome you to explore our website. We have uh, the 360 virtual tour available because my guy is seeing is believing. You got to see this place to understand the, the beauty and the amount of work and love that has gone into this place. It's true. So thank, you. thank you so much, Pia. I love it. It's true. And I, and I heard that you had like record sales for rum recently, right? Even during the quarantine, you guys were selling rum. Ah, uh, yes. I became a bootlegger. Yeah. So, <laughs> we were, so many people, when we were close, were so deprived of our tropical drinks that we, uh, we had the opportunity to, to actually sell gallons to go. And we're still doing that. Uh, there are some people that are not feeling comfortable coming back, but they can have their Mai Tai fix. <laughs> well, thank you so much, P. I love it. Bring a little bit of Mai Kai home with you. Um, and it is, it's such a great landmark as well. Another landmark place for, for your guests to come down and visit, right? So at Mai Kai, put that on your list. Thank you, Pia. We thank are you. almost at the end of our presentation because we have reached our time limit. 
we have a couple of prizes still left at the end. So I'm gonna breeze right through these final um, slides that I have to share with you. Just some brief information on um, some destination information that, that is good for you to know about. Our lotter deals go all the way through to September right now. You can find them on our website, sunny.org slash lotter deals. You're going to find lots of these partners that were on this webinar featured with certain specials going on um, right now through September. And then we also have on our website on sunny.org, we have our junior ambassador program. Check it out. You are all here to learn about family travel. So this is something that you should recommend to your clients. They can, um, if they have children, go for um, becoming a certified junior ambassador of Greater Fort Lauderdale. They'll get a badge, they'll get a certificate in the mail and a little prize here and there in the mail as well, as well as being um, educated on math lessons, um, civics for middle school, um, music and arts and all kinds of great activities on there. So check it out. It's something that we created in March and it's um, something really innovative. And then before I take up more of your time, we wanna just mention that we do have more webinar series coming up. As I mentioned before, they're going all the way through into 2021. These are some of the ones that are coming right up down the road. Um, Gabe is going to be spearheading the budget travel and then unexpected gems in September. So lots to um, hear from with more stay, play and dine partners. And then once again, on our website on sunny.org, please visit the travel trade section. It's to the top right area of the website and you'll see our Travel Agent Academy program. If you have not taken our course, we highly recommend that you do so. And last but not least, you should certainly be following us on Leisure Lauderdale and Visit Lauderdale. The difference, Visit Lauderdale is for consumers. You're gonna find beautiful pictures of our destination on Twitter. You're gonna find lots of great information on restaurants and events and fun things to know about. Um, and then on our site, Leisure Lauderdale, is this is for the travel trade. So this is for you, the travel advisor and travel professional, where you're gonna find out information about where we are, where we're presenting, who we're presenting to. If we go on a site tour, we're gonna put pictures on there and just more informational information for you to be more successful at selling the destination. So definitely check us out on Instagram and on Facebook so that you can follow on and learn more about Greater Fort Lauderdale. I'm gonna pass the virtual mic over to Tracy, who's gonna finish this up, and then we're gonna do some questions and prizes. We got thank Tracy you, here. Yes. Uh, thank you, Caitlin, and thank you to all our, our presenters. I think everybody, I hope that you guys are taking away why we love our community so much. Um, but I do want to share this safe and clean pledge. You know, we certainly understand now that health and safety are most travelers' number one concern. And so we want our visitors to feel safe here in Greater Fort Lauderdale. So businesses are taking the Visit Lauderdale Safe and Clean Pledge that you see here. And by doing so, they agree to follow the CDC cleaning protocols, including wearing masks, providing hand sanitizer, practicing social distancing, most importantly, training their staff on all these protocols and working towards contactless payments. So you'll find these signs throughout our community, not only in our hotels and our restaurants, our attractions, but other businesses throughout the community as well um, have taken this pledge. And um, you'll see these around the community and you can also go to sunny.org and see all the companies and businesses that actually have signed up for it. And I think we're moving on to Q&A, Gabe. All right, we'll try to make this as quick as possible. Uh, well, our, if, you, if you're one of our panelists, you can bring yourself back online. Um, there's been, I've, I've, I've read a few questions and I think they're sort of on, on similar veins. And it's something to do with the amount of activity that we have on offer here, particularly the two resorts that are almost uh, like all inclusive. So for you guys selling across the country, if you had clients that thought about cruising or wanted to go to all inclusive resorts in the Caribbean, we are an alternative to that. It's not the same, but we're an alternative. So let's start with Fernando perhaps, and then we'll go to Crystal. How do you, how, how does it work uh, in terms of the uh, additional activities, the kids clubs, the kids camps, the uh, the beach chairs, the bicycle rentals, the water sports. 
how does how is that charged how is that priced in each of your resorts all right thank you for the question Gabe. Okay. so as far as beach bikes um and the beach chairs and umbrellas those are already included within the room rate and resort fee that you would pay when you come to the resort so you already have access to that so you got a lot of great value there um, as far as water sports for paddle boarding and for kayaking across the street that is uh, one of the concessionaires that actually rents those out for you um, on an hourly basis so you can go ahead and do that and they also do large group activities as well that you can plan with them as far as the kids activities that they do throughout the day those are free a lot of the times they will list them throughout the resort and they'll just tell you where it is you can go do them whether it's building sand castles or doing little water balloon tosses and fun games like that those are included so you could do the flow rider you do buy access to that at either a half hour one hour or full day rate so you have that option the full day rate is actually a very popular option for people that just can't get enough <laughs> that's also really fun to do that and um that, that about covers the, the the family activities and the kids club i'm sorry kids club a lot of the times they do open houses it, well they will just be open you know within a certain amount of time and no additional charge they'll let you check it out but usually there is a half day rate with or without lunch and then a full day that includes lunch and during Excellent. higher occupancy times there is night programs where they'll go ahead and receive your children so you could enjoy the evening excellent thank you crystal all right perfect so those are some excellent questions and similarly we have some items that are already included with the resort fee uh, such as your complimentary wi-fi in your guest room two beach chairs and one beach umbrella fitness class access which is yoga outside on the beach or on our outdoor terrace bottles of water in the guest room unlimited local and long distance calls, 15% off uh, at the spa. So you get all of those items. It's actually a true value of over $100 per day, but the resort fee is only $20 and it's conveniently added. Uh, so that's what's included in terms of the resort fee. Some of the other activities such as the popular Funky Fish Kids Club, uh, that is available for $69 and it is from Three, let's see, it's from 10 a.m. in the morning until 3 p.m. And it also includes lunch. Um, another activity that we provide is the beach volleyball. That would be an example of a complimentary amenity that you have access to. And you're also able to um, make those reservations and arrangements in advance. If you wanted to do something like maybe it's a bigger family or uh, it's a, a couple of families that's coming together for some live action competition and you want to jazz up the experience by having a referee and a little bit more involved in engagement with our staff, we can certainly organize that for a fee as well. Um, the bicycle rentals are available for a fee and they are offered either a half day or full day uh, price and it comes with your little fun road map and a helmet uh, for your adventure. And let's see, um, and then all of the on-site water sport rentals that we have, whether it's motorized or non-motorized, they're through our partners uh, on the beach, and those different items are available at different prices and can be easily charged to your guest room. Great. Uh, Caitlin, I wanna leave some time for prizes of course, because that's really important. But uh, what, should we do one, one, two, one or two more questions? Yeah, let's do one more, and the rest okay. maybe we can answer via email separately. So, quick question for uh, then Elizabeth, Meredith, and and Pia, if you could make it as quick as possible. But uh, Elizabeth, real quick, how do you charge all your activities? And then for the rest of three of you three ladies, how are you handling uh, capacities? Where are you at uh, in terms of capacity in your venues? Okay, um, for us, it's pay to play at the park. So you just choose what activities you want to participate in because they all vary based on age um, and, and adventure level. So you can choose what you want to do and you can pay for that activity and the prices vary from $10 and up. So not too bad. And then capacity, uh, 
we are running everything at capacity as needed. So whereas um, if a laser tag used to be 30 people at a time, we're running less than 15. Um, XD Dark Ride is eight people in a ride, but we are limiting that just to families and groups to go together. So we're really doing everything we can to keep people in their family unit or group unit away from other guests. Um, and it's working well because we're so big, we're fortunate that we can do okay. that. So. Great. Meredith, how about you at the ad mods? How are you guys handling capacity issues? Uh, sure. So uh, uh, mentioning earlier, we're 150,000 square feet, so a fairly large facility. Uh, but we have uh, made a commitment uh, with regards to being very cautious and conservative against guidelines. Uh, we are functioning at a 25% capacity and uh, th for the entire museum and then a 30% capacity for our IMAX that's also uh, been stanchioned off to be able to observe uh, ample social distancing. Uh, so we have that in place. Um, and with regards to uh, ticketing, uh, when we are uh, back open and operational outside of our private experiences for public hours, we will have time tickets uh, that will allow us to stagger people's entrances. Uh, and then our admission ticket is an all-inclusive ticket, which includes uh, one of our documentary IMAX films. And then those Hollywood films that I mentioned added on um, additionally. Great, thank you. And Pia? So uh, reservations are required at the Baikai. Uh, we, we operate at 50% capacity. Uh, we have someone that, uh, when you arrive to the Baikai, uh, check you in when you arrive with your car. No more valet parking for now. You you would self park, and we have a lot of parking available here. But we we check in, uh, we check you in, and then you sit in your car until your table is ready. We give you, we text you, and we, we escort you in. You don't even open the door here. We have people in our restrooms that we have people outside our restrooms that make sure that that they hold you there. So there are not too many people in the restaurants either. We have gone way, maybe way beyond, but we don't feel like that. We feel like it's so important to have everyone feel safe for, for our guests and for our employees. Uh, even in the gardens, you go, in, you go out one way, you come in the other way, and it is controlled. But reservations are required. Great. Thank oh, you. That explains the, the, our answers to Sure, thank Thanks. you so much. Oh. Are we ready for some prizes? Yes, who is? Awesome. I am. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, and those questions, like I said, that we didn't get to answer, we will, we have um, the library of them and we will make sure they get answered for you. So we have a couple of prizes here. We've got three prizes today. The first prize, so Gabe, they're gonna have to write their answer in the, in the question. Is that how it's working? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got to be quick, quick to type, right? So the first prize is going to be our VIP beach bag and towel combo from, from Visit Lauderdale. And uh, we got some plush beach towels for when you come on down to visit us. So the question is, listen up. When is the show dedicated to all of the kids in the audience at MyKai? When is that? May, that was quick. That was quick. Uh, very quick oh. um so this has never happened before we have <laughs> we have the first answer to come in was from mia park and awesome. she said sundays very good that is correct the answer is sundays so mia park good job yo right, we're ready, ready. Man. wow this, the next one is a 50 dollar gift certificate from Extreme Action Park. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. You can use it yourself. Give it to a client coming on down to visit us. So name three activities that families can do at Extreme Action Park. You got to write three of them. Oh. Last fingers. OK. Uh, we have go-kart laser tag and rope course from Michelle Diamond. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Michelle Diamond. And everybody else, we've got a couple other. All right. The next one is, this is a overnight stay at the Marriott Pompano Beach Resort. This is our final prize for the day. Yes, 
Crystal, thank you very much. So listen up and get ready. What is the name of the kids camp at the Fort Lauderdale Marriott Pompano Beach Resort? Oh, we have Johan Bertillon with Funky Fish. First answer right out of the right out of your lips. They were ready. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations, everybody. And that will conclude our prizes for the afternoon and our webinar for today on family travel. We hope you all uh, are walking away with some specific ideas on how to sell family travel in Greater Fort Lauderdale. We appreciate your time. I know we went over a little bit. Thank you very much. And have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.